All right, guys, back at it again. Today, we're actually working on a Jordan 1 Blue the Gray. There was actually a trend going on a couple of years ago. Uh, I think Chris Paul and a few other basketball players started to cut their Jordan 1s and started making them Jordan 1 lows. Well, actually, they were doing it to their Jordan 1 highs. I saw a Travis Scott, and I also saw a uh, Shatter Backboard. And then I saw a few YouTubers start doing it, and I kind of actually liked how the look was. But um, there was just some things I did not like about it, which kind of like not kind of made me not want to wear them as often because of the fact that there was just a few things that I needed to tweak. So this shoe is actually already cut. Um, we're actually going to show you guys the process on how I did this. Uh, it's actually quite easy. It's something you actually can do at home. The other step I'm actually going to show you is to clean, to actually clean up this actual look. <laughs> is when you cut this shoe originally you cut the collar off and then you have a raw uh, a raw top on it now when you cut the top and you have the raw top the raw the raw edge the problem you run into is the fact that longevity so after putting your shoe on and off on and off uh the suede tends to like pick up uh pull out the actual uh, stuffing that's in the inside of the shoe and then it won't last very long so i actually wanted to fix that but i still want to keep it that diy look so i still wanted the exposed foam but yet make it a little, uh, give it more longevity so that it'll actually last a lot longer. Um, I also noticed too, when I did cut them, um, because the shoe is a higher cut shoe, the tongue on it is actually really high as well too. Um, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to shorten the tongue as well on these. Uh, right now I just have this just dangling on here. Um, you can actually see, so on here you'll see that how it, it's finished, like you can see like there's some foam sticking out and you have the suede collar. And then it goes all the way around as well too, as you can see. And then this tongue is super, super big. Um, it's actually quite huge. And then when you go to try to put them on, um, it, it, it almost it makes it look like a Jordan 1 soccer shoe. So I really wanted to fix that aesthetic. I've been really debating if I wanted to take it to a cobbler and actually get them sewn down the actual tongues, but I actually found a way where I can actually do it here at home and I'll show you guys how to do it. And then I'll also show you guys how to, how what remedy I use to actually fix this top collar part as well too, to actually make it last a bit longer and it not have this exposed foam sticking out here. Like I don't mind the exposed foam up here, but the problem I'm running into is this part right here. After a while, just putting your foot in, jamming it in here several times, it tends to, it tends to like pull it out. It really can really mess it up. So I did find out a remedy, but it's an easy one. You guys should, should be able to do it at home. If you have, you know, the only thing that really, you really do need is like a really sharp knife. Um, I've seen people use hedge, I believe it's hedge trimmers, like the real small ones. I used an X-Acto knife. Let me show you a knife I used. I used this simple X-Acto knife. I also have some needles and I also got some uh, cream uh, stitching. Uh, kind of matches with the shoe, this ivory color. It'll be really nice. And contrasting. I actually already did the other shoe, so it actually came out really nice. And then I also got a little cheat tool. This is my uh, needle threader. It'll actually help me, like, you know, feed the string through the actual needle. So I have to sit here and try to poke it through this little microscopic hole. So, all right, guys. So let's uh, let's let's start along. Um, I'm gonna start off showing you guys where I started cutting this uh, upper. So when the shoe comes, you'll actually see there's some stitching here, and it actually comes like this but right here this l red line so basically what i did was i first took a seat i took the exacto knife i put it underneath here and i cut off all the stitching you're left with just basically this loose and this blue part right here just like this so once you have done all that you've taken off all the stitching and i went all the way around went through the back came back around to the other side, did the other side as well too, all the way down. So that loosens everything up. 
here and then it's just attached basically to the bottom part then on the next part what i did was i'm just gonna put this to the side real quick guys so once you have cut that and this is loose or whatnot then you're gonna take your exacto knife and you're gonna cut along this seam all the way around where the red is and you're just gonna cut keep cutting keep cutting keep cutting and then this piece will actually come off so then you have this one piece and then you're left off with this part so this part so the difference between them and the reason i did this on a mid um i actually really like this collar part of the actual shoe you see this right here if you do it on a high top it's a bit different the cut actually this part right here comes all the way up to here and then you actually on the high tops what everyone's doing is they're cutting it right here at this line and they're completely cutting the entire top off so what i did was i gave it a little bit more extra what i did was i started where the actual stitch line was on the actual shoe as you can see that this is where the stitching starts if you can see that so you see where the stitching is i basically started my exacto knife right where the stitching was from where the red was and i came all the way down here and I stopped here and then I really wanted to make sure that there was a, this this collar part right here to give actually more color because what happens if, if I were to cut this line right here I'd take off all the blue and then it would just be it would be basically like this and I didn't like how that how that looked actually a little too low of a shoe on the high tops you can do that with because it'll actually give you that because this piece comes all the way up to here but this is a mid so you actually have to cut right before it and I say about a finger space all the way around. And you just will sit there, you take your X-Acto knife, cut, and you'll bring it all the way around, cut all the way around, and then you'll do the same thing on the opposite side. And then you're left with this huge tongue and this uh, exposing foam or whatnot. And again, this is what this is what I this is what really was like was bothering me about me wearing these. I was very being very fragile with it, I was really concerned. But the new fix that I, I figured out and I put on this, it's actually gonna really help out where you can actually wear it all the time and not worry about it. Uh, what I'll basically be doing was I'll be putting, taking this part of the collar and I'm actually gonna reuse the, the actual uh, suede that's on here. And I'm actually gonna be recovering this entire part and then I'm gonna restitch right over it. So it'll actually have like an exposed stitch sticking out. So it just gives it a more of a DIY look. And then for the tongue, what I'll do is I'll cut it right here and then we're actually going to shorten it and bring it down um, just about an inch. That's all it really needs. And then another thing. So when you actually cut this off, there's actually this hole doesn't even exist here. I actually had to make this hole. See it? And what I initially did was I actually just took the exacto knife, poked a hole and twisted it. Now I actually have a hole, uh, a hole cutter. Basically, let me just do this real quick. I'm going to actually... I actually put the hole a little bit, uh, probably about the same exact size as this one, so it's actually going to match up really nice. So let's uh, let's do this, and just clip. You can actually hear me punching into the actual shoe, and then take that out. Boom, look at that, look how clean that is. I think we should start off with the uh, collar part and then uh, we'll do the tongue part. Tongue part's actually gonna be the easiest part. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put this shoe to the side and we're gonna start working on this collar. What I gotta do is start disassembling this collar. I will uh, reverse everything out of it. So I'm basically, I'm gonna peel everything back. And I'm trying to be careful when I'm peeling this back because um, this foam will get ripped in there. We really don't want this extra foam that's in here. Um, and then we're going to take the other one. I'm going to reverse this out. And I'm going to start peeling off this foam. And I'm being very careful with peeling this foam because, again, I don't want this foam on the back of my uh, new suede that I'm actually going to be putting on here. And basically what I'm doing to peel this off, the best way to peel this off, I find, is to really just roll the glue. Alright, so 
basically I'm just inverting this entire piece. I already got the foam off, as you can see. That's the actual foam collar. And then the next step I'm going to do is separate this black from the blue. So what I'll do is I get the knife. Basically, I'm just cutting the threading. I'm not really cutting the actual fabric. I'm just cutting the, the, the threading because we're actually going to be using these actual um, these holes for this actual custom. Because what I do is I actually use the holes to line everything up, and then I'm able to use the holes to help me sew hand sew this through the actual uh, shoe. Because honestly, thick leather like this, you can't sew through it. Um, you actually need a machine to really sew through this. So um, these holes actually help out really nice. They line up things really nicely. I actually noticed they really lined it up um, perfectly on the actual bottom half of the shoe. And um, you'll, you're gonna see that it's gonna come in handy a little later. Alright guys, so these are actually the two parts. Foam's out. We got the this is the inliner. You actually see I actually cut some of the tag off. Uh, and then this is the out. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually gonna take off all this string as well too. Which comes off pretty easy once you have done all that. Um, let's see, let's take off this white. All right, so we really just wanted to just take off all this black that's on this bottom half because this is the bottom half we're going to be using. And as you can see, it's that stitch right there. We're actually going to be reusing that stitch. We'll be able to cross our um, our needle and our uh, and our string through there, and then um, that's how we'll be attaching it to the actual back of the sole. And what I'll be doing is basically this goes back here. We'll line that up. I'll line it all the way up to here to where I want to. Do the same thing on this side, up to there, and I'm not taking this all the way up to here. I'm only just taking this up to here because this actually, this part right here is actually all stitched and reinforced. We don't need to worry about this coming up. We need to worry about this. This is the part where I'm concerned with coming up. You see this excess foam right here? Basically the yarn is going to go through there. You can't go through the heel counter because the heel counter will, it's going to be really hard. You cannot go through that. It's actually fiberglass. But the yarn will actually go through the actual foam and then come out the other end as well too. And I'll just be going in and out of uh, every other hole, going all the way across until, until I'm finished. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to measure this out. So I'll put this here, like so. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to mark a little bit higher than what I really need. Um, this way, when I start sewing, it's actually going to pull the actual fabric in. So I'm going to do that. So basically what I did was I shoved that piece. So after I did all the trimming that I needed to do, I shoved that piece into the, between the, uh, this white panel and then that foam. So it would stay. So it actually just stays on there good. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to fall off or anything like that. I shake it. Um, but now I'm actually going to start doing the sewing part, but that's like the best thing you can do because it has that sticky adhesive on there. You'll be able to actually put it on there, plant it, and it's going to stay on there the majority of the time. So let's start to get to doing the, 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 doing the sewing right now. Doing this. Put the tongue over here. Look up, and look how big this tongue is. Look how huge it is. Ridiculous. I'll, show, I'll, put, I'll put a little picture up here of some of these basketball players, how they were wearing, how big the tongue was. It was, I'm telling you, it looked like a freaking... It looked like a freaking uh, soccer Jordan 1. 
Man, I don't mind them. I mean, if that's what you're, this, if that's what you're about, and that's what you like, then by all means, go for it. But um, we're gonna shorten that tongue today because. So what I'm gonna do here is, basically, we're gonna shorten the tongue. I'll give you guys a quick preview of what it'll look like before I cut it. It'll be here, and it'll be a lot shorter. And this will be actually the normal size where the tongue is supposed to be. I just folded it, but uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut the tongue off. Cut it off. Scary. Not really, guys. It's really easy. Tongue's gone. And then we're gonna get a one inch Velcro. It's gonna go across from here to here, all the way across. Straps in right into there. And that's gonna be pretty much it. I use fabric Velcro. This is the one inch Velcro. It's gonna go right across just like so. We're gonna cut it and double stick, double stick tape it, that's it. Just like that way to do this though put them together peel your lock peel your curl curl side down And I'm using the, the actual lace, um, the lace holder as my guide for the metal. And I'll put this right in here like so. And we're gonna take a shoe tree, shove that bad boy in there. Push it in there. Shoe tree right there. And I'm just molding it down making sure that it's sticking everywhere it's not gonna go anywhere as you can see you can't see the white at all unless you're like really freaking looking for it and that's what it looks like with a short tongue all right guys so just a bit of changes um i initially was going to do this type of stitch but i didn't find it to be as strong that i as i wanted to be I really want to do something more like a whip stitch going all the way around so it's actually covering it and actually holding it together. So uh, let me show you actually what I'm going to do real quick. So here's an example. So I did a little whip stitch action with these cross stitches going all the way through the back and whip stitching going back around as well too. And it actually it's a lot better. As you can see, the foam is actually a lot more protected for me when I put my heel in. I won't have to worry about messing it up or whatnot. I think it's a bit more consistent as well too. Um, it's gonna be a, actually be a lot, give it a lot more longevity. So um, we're actually gonna go work, do this instead. I'm not gonna do the white ivory. I end up picking up some blue thread. Could not find an exact match, but hey, it works. It does the job. I think it looks great. Um, it's actually quite, quite nice, a little bit, some, some contrast or whatnot. So um, let's get into this. Um, I'm gonna rip out the white thread on this one. I'll actually time lapse the actual cross stitching, so uh, stay along. product 
Um, I added the white laces. Uh, this is actually with the uh, shortened tongue, and then you can see the back where the stitching is. Also have some more close-ups in a little bit. We'll do a little uh, on feet action for you guys. If you guys like this video, let me know. Actually, really excited. I'm glad how this came out. Uh, the reinforcement is really nice. I even tested also too, putting my foot inside. Really smooth getting in and coming out. So I'm not jacking up that foam that was in the inside. That's the the biggest concern that I had. But um, I'm really stoked. I really like this. I think my next uh, shoe that I might cut is a uh, blazer high. That would be really awesome. I think I want to do something like that. I might do like a Nike ID blazer high, like with some like really cool materials. Maybe do a little custom on it. Cut the top off on it. Just give it that nice DIY look. But um, let me guys, let me know on the bottom, guys, if you guys want to see something like that. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned uh, for on feet. Um, like, follow, subscribe, tell your friends all about me. <laughs> but um, uh, I'm glad you guys stayed along for this long. I know these videos tend to be long, but again, just trying to give you guys all that content. All right, guys, have a great day. Later.